Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I am standing at the compound, uh, one of my favorite properties, although it was one of the ugliest when I bought it, and one of the scariest too, I'm not gonna lie. But all the houses are now done. Now, none of them are rented yet, that's another story, but they're all done, they're remodeled, that's the last one right behind me. It is Fun Car Friday for me with the 928, although it might not be Fun Car Friday for you when you actually see this, I'm sorry. Uh, but we're gonna take a look at this house, We'll show you the rest of the compound as well. Go take a little drive. Such a huge, massive property. It takes us a while, but be patient. We'll get around it. And of course, check out investformore.com for much more information on my flips, rentals, being an agent, all that good stuff. And we like the likes and comments, so keep those coming too. Um, this is a property with three houses and a commercial property that we bought uh, right along the highway too, which we'll show you here soon if you hear all the noise. And we got an amazing deal, but it had a lot, a lot, a lot of problems but I think we've gotten through most of those. So we'll show you all that here soon. And in fact, let's just do it right now. Here is house number one, the blue house. And if you're wondering, we're in the 928, the 1986 Porsche 928, which is one of my favorite cars, even though it's one of my cheapest cars. It has some issues right now, like the mirror fell off. But besides that, it's an amazing car. And it sounds almost better than all the other cars. But we're going to go drive around the compound for a little bit here. So the cool thing about my new camera setup is I can hold the camera outside the car and still talk to you with my microphones inside the car. And hopefully it doesn't sound completely horrible. But here's house number two. They're all done now. So amazing. And we have videos of all of those. And then house number three, of course over here oh we probably shouldn't drive here hopefully i'm pointing it at the right direction because i have no idea what you're looking at right now hopefully it's a house maybe or the car one of the two there you go and then the commercial building right here and a camper of course it's a camper i can't get away from campers so that's the full view of the compound and of course we'll come and see this blue guy right here and see how it looks inside. So here is the house up close. It also has that big, nice garage that came with it. And there's the highway that you can hear right by us. And I was hoping uh, my guys would have cleaned up the yard a little better than they did, but we'll talk to them about that. I think this garage has been hit a couple times by cars. so. Um, that is something to be a little concerned about. And people have asked me before, you know, aren't you scared of a car running into the house here? And really, I'm expecting those two trees to stop any errant cars. Because really, I mean, unless you fall down that embankment across the street, then jump over this road, fly the car all the way into the roof, I think it's safe. I think those trees will stop any cars. And really, you know, that tree will help protect the garage. Just that one edge right there where the siding's different where it probably got hit before. So it's, it's fine. Um, <laughs> this was the roughest house, I think, of all of them. So as I said, I bought three houses, commercial property. They were all rented. Uh, if you've seen the compound videos before, you've heard this story over and over. This was one that was rented for 550 a month, I think. And we did cash for keys, so we paid them money to move out, even though they're a month to month lease, it's just so much easier um, to help tenants out after you buy a property and they've been there a while. So we paid them to move out. Uh, they did move, took a little while, but this place was a mess. And we'll have a before video and maybe crop some images in here of what it looked like before, but there was a water heater in that corner. There's basically no cabinets. The house was just, really nasty so we put in nothing crazy expensive as you can see but new cabinets we're still waiting for appliances that's one thing coronavirus has really slowed down is appliances so <laughs> they were supposed to be here uh weeks ago and we're still waiting on the appliances but this is a property that um, we will now rent probably from 1100 to 1200 i'm thinking so cleaned it up made it livable and that was our goal this bathroom was disgusting as well before and now it's much less disgusting. No, it's not disgusting. It's not high end by any means. I don't think anybody will confuse it for that, but it's okay. And there's no room for the sink. 
So we actually had one of these tiny vanities or tiny sinks left over from another flip we did a couple of years ago. And it was actually too tiny. This was from the hoarder house. That's where that was gonna go. If you remember the hoarder house with the dead snake, um, that was where that vanity was gonna go, but it didn't quite work there. So we had it in storage and it works perfectly here. And our guards built a little enclosure for it. And there you go, there's your bathroom. I'll show you the uh, hike class stuff we got going on. But <laughs> these properties at some point will probably be torn down and this area used for development. I don't know when, I don't know how long that will be, but we weren't here to rebuild these properties and make them perfect because they are zoned commercial. We can use them uh, as residential, but they probably won't be here forever. Our heating system, as you can see, is just a space heater, but it's brand new. Uh, it had a space heater in here before that did not work. It's a really small house. I think it's like 700 square feet. So maybe less than that. We don't need a full HVAC central heating system. This should do the trick. Uh, this is your living room right here. We did put in new windows as well, as you can see. New light fixtures, although that one's off. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't know where the light switch is. Hey, found it. There's your light switch. And you know why it's right there? Because that used to be the front door a long time ago, and now it's not. So they didn't move the light switches. <laughs> um, but here's your living room. Uh, new carpet, as you can see, the Home Depot fireworks, I think is what they call it. We get this rolls and rolls and rolls of this stuff. Very affordable. Um, we have a bedroom in here. So if you thought 700 or 600 square feet was small, whatever this house is, it used to be much smaller. This was an addition. So it was literally a two room house. This living room and that kitchen before. And then I think they added on the porch, they added on the bathroom. It was tiny. So compared to that, this is a mansion. Um, do have this wonderful closet that's shared between both bedrooms. Very spacious. Oh, more lights I didn't turn on. I'm being a bad videographer person. There you go. And the compound has had a number of, I told you, crazy stuff go on. Well, the first thing was the name compound came from the city. They called it that, I think, due to the high number of crime reports that came from here. And we did have squatters break into one of the other houses a few weeks ago. I have a video of that. We had to do the eviction for one of the other units have videos of that. Um, lots of issues with junk and stuff being dumped here. Just a lot goes on at the compound. So <laughs> it should be a good investment. We paid 410,000 for all the properties. And after everything's said and done, you know, they should be renting for 45 to $5,500 a month. So should be a good investment. And really, I think this property is going to be worth in the range of 700 to 800,000 once we're done. I don't have the exact numbers, but I'm sure we spent $100,000 fixing up all three houses on the eviction, on the cash for keys, all of that as well. So that is the property. People said this area doesn't have any landscaping. Well, there is grass right there. So we have plenty of landscaping at the compound. I don't know what people are talking about. Um, <laughs> it feels really good to have all these houses done. And now the next step is renting them. And that's another story. Uh, I've mentioned before, we had a property manager who's in my office, not Justin. Justin's my good friend who works for me. He used to manage my properties. He got tired of it. He still works with me, but does other stuff. Then we hired another person to do my property management in-house when I started Blue Steel Real Estate. Ironically, this house is very blue steely. It matches quite well. Um, and they did okay for a while. Then they didn't do okay. So we switched property management companies to an outside company this last year. And they started out doing really well. And now we're having questions about them. So we'll see how that goes. But the two other compound houses have been rented for rent, sorry. They've been for rent for a while with not much action. And um, we're slightly worried about how much attention they are getting from the new property management company. <sighs> I'm guessing they might not be there 
most expensive rentals they manage, but still we'd hope they would pay good attention to them and not just kind of hope eventually someone stops by to rent them. Something else I'm going to show you that you may or may not remember in the first video is this plant. That was weed, marijuana, and obviously I harvested it really well, but <laughs> had one, one stray plant growing and then it died. We are in Colorado, so it's not real hard to get, but not my thing. So, all right, that's the property. Hopefully we can get it rented here soon. We'll have lots of good news about the properties being rented and being worth gobs of money. We'll see. I almost forgot to show you the garage. I know people will ask me, why didn't you show the garage? Well, the main reason was it's really ugly. I didn't want to show it, but I'm still showing it anyway. And obviously there's still some cleanup to do in here. I haven't been in this garage since we first bought it. That is one spot where a car ran into it from the highway. You can see it's all patched up there. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, we still have a Scarface poster. That's cool. And then this room here had a bunch of junk in it. You probably can't see. Is there a light? Maybe there are, but they don't work. Oh, well, black. There you go. So now you can see the exciting garage. All right, there's the property. There's the compound. Oh, I don't know if I showed the extremely busy street from this angle, but there you go. There it is. So this does have quite a bit of commercial development potential at some point. We'll just never, well, someday we might figure out when. Might not be with me though. All right, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the comments, likes. New subscribers, welcome. Uh, love all the comments, so keep those coming, please do. And we'll be back with many more videos, I'm sure on the compound, on our other flips, our other rentals, other advice videos. So we'll have much more coming at you here in the future.